Hello guys, I am Christian Vedoy and this is how I do my escape with the cube on the head that you may or may not have seen on some GOT talent shows around the world. First I prepare to hold my breath for a very long time. For that I use regular free diving breathe up technique. Meaning I breathe for 2 minutes, hold for a while, then breathe for 2 minutes and so. You can find more about that on my channel. This I usually do backstage laying on the floor and sometimes I do it sitting on stage while someone else is doing their act. I usually start breathing up about 20 minutes before I am to perform my act. But if there is a delay, I just keep on doing this until it's my turn. Then they lock me up. This is done in front of everyone. While they lock me, I do a final breathe up. This usually takes about 5 minutes. As you can see, I am breathing through a snorkel. That is so I won't breathe used air from inside the box on my head. I have tried without a snorkel too, but then my breath hold ability gets cut in half. When I'm ready, they open the valve on the water and take away the snorkel. The timer starts when the water hits my nose. The tank usually takes about 30 seconds to fill up. After about 1-2 to two minutes, I have opened the handcuffs. This act is not difficult for me to do, but it does take some time to get out of the locks. The first time I was doing this escape in 2013, I was only able to hold my breath for around 3 minutes. At that time, we only used the handcuffs and the lock on the neck. But as I got better at holding my breath, we added more locks. Now we use one set of handcuffs on the wrist, one chain with lock around the waist, one lock on each arm, and two or one around the neck depending on if I use my wooden or metal version of the escape. In this one, I'm using one. After about four minutes, I start getting contractions. That is my diaphragm contracting, trying to make me breathe. This is a bit uncomfortable, but not too bad. It starts getting really uncomfortable to hold the breath at around 5 to 6 minutes. The time it takes to open the rest of the locks is a bit different from time to time, but usually between 5 and the longest I did was 8 minutes in this escape. When I'm picking the locks, I'm using a lock pick. Sometimes I happen to drop the lock pick. If that happens, I try to pick it up with my feet. This is not intentional, but when it happens, it creates some extra drama. And in the end, I get out. Take a bow and hope the audience liked it. And I hope you liked it. Have a nice day.